Well, good morning, friends. I'm Langdon Palmer, and welcome to Thursday 3. Our scripture for this morning comes from the book of 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 to 15 say, We judge thus, that if one died for all, then all died. And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Life can be hard. Our day can be hard, especially when we have to deal with conflict or hard decisions or difficult people. But there's an incredible freedom we can have this day if we truly embrace what Paul is calling us to do. To say that when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, my old self died. And so I should no longer try to just live for myself, but live for Jesus. There's a freedom in that because it changes the calculus of the day. Now the calculus is, I want to be faithful to Jesus. I want to put on Christ And act in this situation as Christ would act. In that letting go, in that demoting myself and promoting Christ in my life, things sometimes get a lot simpler. Like, I'm just going to go through this day doing what Jesus would have me do. Let's pray. Jesus, you died for me. You gave me new life. You walk with me through these days, and I know I get to dwell in the house of the Lord forever at the end of days. Therefore, help me to live this day not for myself, not for my own glory, not for my own comfort, but for you. Help me to rest in my identity as your disciple. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me on this fall day. If you live in the Philly area, I hope you can join us for worship this Sunday at 1030. For more information, go to lovington.org. Wherever this day takes you, The Lord goes with you. I'll see you next time.